Hi, and welcome to the Pool Guy Podcast Show. In this episode, I'm going to go over some debunking of certain things in the pool industry. I'm going to go over certain products and let you know if they work or don't work, or actually what your expectations should be when using certain pool products. Leslie's Pool Supplies is a proud partner of the Pool Guy Podcast Show. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partners since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right. So there are a lot of pool products out there that work really well. And then there are a lot of pool products that I think have too much expectation behind them. And then there are the pool products that are kind of hard to pin down if they're working effectively or not. And I'll give you some examples of each category. But just like any other industry, you know, I've had a problem with my truck and I tried adding the additives to the fuel tank to make it better and with very limited success. But if you look at the reviews, a lot of people say the product worked great. I also, you know, did other things with the household products where you would think I would have better results and I didn't. And in some cases I had really good results with products that I've used. And so the same thing goes with the pool industry. A lot of the products are hyped up by the manufacturers. And I think in a sense, in a wrong way to increase the consumer's expectations to the level where the consumer thinks the product failed because the expectation was way too high for that particular product. One of the products that I really like, and a video just came out on it, is the Biodex Aquadex 50 Stain Off product. And for me, I think using different stain products, I've used the Hassas um, Stain Out. I've used other um, stain products from United Chemicals. Just about every stain removal product I've tried. And depending on the pool stain, you'll have varying success with removing the actual stain from the pool surface. It may actually not even be a stain, it may just be modeling, which is a discoloration of the plaster. But in the cases where there's a true stain on the plaster, I've had really good success with the Aquadex 50 product. And, you know, I'm not gonna say that it's gonna cure all the stains in the pool. There were a few times I put it in there and it didn't take the stain off the pool. But nine times out of 10 when I use this product, the stain was removed or lightened in the pool and reapplying the product it even had a a larger effect you can look at the video and i have like real life examples one of them was the clorox salt that a customer put in their pool and as a a note i would not recommend the clorox brand salt they have an additive in there that is an anti-clumping additive and some bags have more of it than others and unfortunately if you get a bag with too much of this this ingredient in there the anti-clumping ingredient is going to actually stain the pool. If you look up Clorox salt on the internet, you're going to see a lot of people complaining about this um, yellow or brown rust stain in the pool after adding the salt. So definitely avoid that salt until they fix that problem. And so this pool had that stain, and I actually used the Biodex Aquadex um, 50 on it, and I put a whole cord in there for that small little stain, and it took it off really well. Um, within a week it faded completely and the customer was happy um, so definitely it does have it, it does work but again i've used it on a step area where there was a stain and had no effect at all so i'm not going to say it's hit and miss because it definitely has hit a lot more than missed but there are some stains that no product is going to work on so just be aware of that if you buy a product put it in your pool and it does nothing uh, it's maybe not the product it may just be that that stain is not going to come off Another good example is I've had a lot of good success with organic stains with the Hassa brand. And I have the name correct here now. It's Super Stain Out. And I've had good success with this product with organic staining. I used it in the fiberglass spa that was all brown. And the next week it was pure white. And so it does work really well. But I've used it before in another pool that had, I thought, organic staining from a leaf. And turns out it was a rust stain. Um, my bad on that but the product didn't work and the customer was like you know you charged me for this bottle it didn't work and I realized that it was a totally different kind of stain it wasn't going to work on it so you know you have to really be aware that sometimes your expectations are wrong because it's actually treating the wrong thing for the rust stain I would 
rather use ascorbic acid or vitamin C tablet on there that would be a lot more effective than a bottle of super stain out. Another big one is the bioactive and natural chemistry also has a cyanuric acid reducing product and this is a microorganism that is supposed to eat the cyanuric acid and destroy it and in the laboratory and in independent testing in fact I know Taylor Technologies tested it in their lab that it does work effectively however there are so many variables out there and I've tested it myself some pools that lowered the cyanuric acid level down significantly significantly other pools it didn't lower it down nearly enough for the cost of the product and in reality water is still cheaper than you know using this product to lower the cyanuric acid down and then you have the user error or I don't I wouldn't say user error I'll backtrack there the fact that cyanuric acid readings are hard to, to pin down so if you have cyanuric acid at 300 parts per million or 500 parts per million there is actually no real way of testing above maybe 130 parts per million without diluting the cyanuric acid solution in water to get an accurate reading so you may think that you have 200 parts per million but you have 500 parts per million and you add two bags of the bioactive or the natural chemistry cyanuric acid reducer and it failed well it may not have failed it may have lowered it by you know 60 or 80 parts per million so it went down from 400 to 320 but you're thinking it was at 200 and you wanted to see it at 120 so you have that whole area where cyanuric acid is very hard to measure to begin with and so the product failure may be that reason it may also be that for instance both require very low or no chlorine in the pool because the sanitizer will of course kill anything in the water and so they'll destroy the ingredients in bioactive which is a microorganism so these are all things to be aware of when you're using a product that the fail rate may be high because of a lot of other factors the product actually may work in a lab may not work in reality because of these factors. So let me turn things positive again here and I'll cover two products that I think are virtually bulletproof when you use them or actually three products I'll add one more to it. I think borates, adding borates to your pool to bring the level to 30 to 50 parts per million is a great way to prevent algae in your pool. It has a sparkle to the pool. In fact once you add the product to your pool you're gonna see the sparkle within minutes. It also softens the water but I think the key is that it's a natural algae stat, which means algae won't form in the pool. And if you have borates in your pool, you chances are you're not going to have an algae issue. If the circulation is working well and you have your clean filter, it's going to eliminate the algae in the pool. And I've had great success with adding borates to the pool. In fact, I have not had one pool where I've added borates to where algae formed or the pool got cloudy or the process wasn't effective. So... To me, adding borates to a pool is a pretty bulletproof product. Many different companies sell a pre-mixed product. They have the um, BioGuard Optimizer, which I use regularly on my route. It's a pre-measured or pre-formulated borate product that's fairly pH neutral. I think it's lower in pH, um, but if you add it to the pool, it's not going to raise or lower the pH in most cases. The pool-proof product that I really liked was a liquid form of borate has been removed from the market by the company. So I've switched over to the BioGuard Optimizer. Um, Pro Team Supreme makes a borate product. Um, Biodex that I mentioned earlier with their stain off, they make a borate product. So these are all different companies that make a borate product. You can of course add 20 Mule Team Borax to your pool that'll raise the pH significantly and you can counter that with acid. I have a video on adding borates using the 20 Mule Team Borax. You can use boric acid add borates to the pool it's got a low pH I think in the 4 4.7 or something like that so the pH may lower when you add the boric acid so be aware of that so there's all different ways to add the borate product to your pool I don't sell any pool products directly so I don't endorse anyone directly I'm giving you the full range of the borate products that I know of out there and definitely I say this is a really good process that you're gonna have great results with another product that I think is pretty much bulletproof are the phosphate removers. All of them use pretty much the same ingredient in them across the board at different strengths. So so the two that I use regularly are the natural chemistry phosphory because it's very affordable. It's probably not as strong as the Arenda um, PR10,000. That's another good phosphate remover. Both of those are great products. And of course you can use the C-Clear phosphate remover 
C clear is owned by Natural Chemistry, so it's the same formula. I think it's a little stronger. It's more like their professional strength phosphate remover. And then you have various other brands like Biodex carries a phosphate remover. Someone emailed me and said that they found one at Home Depot, I think for $15 for a bottle. I'm not sure the brand of it, but they wanted to let me know that it worked really well for the $15 price that they paid for it. So the phosphate removers are definitely effective. What makes them a little expensive is that the ingredient lanthanum is expensive to produce or come by. So the phosphate removers aren't cheap. I've done extensive testing with phosphate removers on my pool route. I've had pools with phosphate levels over 1,000 parts per billion. I've had phosphate levels below 300. And I use different phosphate products and it zeroed out the phosphate level in all these pools. I'm testing it with a phosphate photometer so I know that the phosphate level was accurate at the beginning and at the end of the testing. And I've also tested the phosphate remover to kill or treat algae in a pool and it's highly effective. The reason why they don't market the phosphate removers as an algicide is because it has to be EPA registered. This is one reason why the borate products don't uh, or don't claim to be um, algicides either because of the EPA registration and so phosphate removers aren't EPA registered as algicides but of course if you just use logic if the phosphate remover is designed to destroy the phosphates in the pool which is the food source for algae by destroying the food source for algae thereby you're allowing your actually killing the algae because there's no food source so the algae will disappear from the pool with the use of phosphate remover so technically it doesn't kill the algae directly but since it removes the food source the algae in all t intents and purposes will starve and since borates are an algistat what that means is that there's something inside the borates that will stop the algae from actually forming and so the reason why that's not an algicide is because it doesn't technically kill the algae or destroy it, it just stops it from forming. So you can see getting these two products registered with the EPA would be quite difficult. However, just know that the nature of the product will in fact prevent algae growth in your pool. Another product that I want to mention where I have a lot of positive things to say about it are enzymes. I think this is one thing that I really didn't pay a lot of attention to at the beginning um, when they started coming out. And now that I started using them in my pools on my route, I think they're great. What they do is they stop the scum line from forming on the tile. And if you have a spa, like a fiberglass spa that you use a lot, and you notice a scum line on it, try some enzymes in there. And I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to really help with the buildup on, that, on the line in your spa. But it definitely helps with the pool. And it also will break down things that use up the chlorine. And I guess I should backtrack and say that the borates the um, phosphate and the enzymes all are chlorine enhancers which means that as they're working in the pool this will free up the chlorine to be more effective because with the enzymes they're going to break down inorganics in the water that normally would be used the chlorine would normally be used up with and then with the phosphate remover since they're going to eliminate the food for algae the chlorine will be freed up to work more effectively because it's not being used up by the algae and then also with the borate since it's an algistat it's going to allow the chlorine to be freed up again because it's not going to be fighting the algae in the pool. So all of these are great aspects of these products. And I have to backtrack one more time. I think I failed to mention that borates are actually a pH buffer also. And this means that if you have a pool where the pH continues to rise rapidly, like a saltwater pool, definitely the borate product will help keep the pH within range because it's another buffer. So you have the alkalinity as one buffer, and then you have the borates as another pH buffer. All that means is that the pH won't rise as rapidly or drop as rapidly in the pool with borates in it at 30 to 50 parts per million because the borate is actually buffering the pH or keeping it from moving up or down rapidly. So I'll move on to another product that is really pushed by a lot of manufacturers in the industry and is touted as a cure-all for your pool and it's not really quite 100% bulletproof and that's a salt water generator or salt system. There are a few things to note about a salt water system. Number one, if the cell gets calcium buildup on it, it'll stop working. If there's a problem with the actual system itself, the circuit board or something, it'll stop working. If your salt level is too low in the pool or too high in the pool, it'll stop working. 
and if you don't have the pool running long enough, it's not going to produce the amount of chlorine necessary to sanitize the water or keep a residual chlorine level. So a saltwater system is not quite bulletproof. There is some maintenance required, there's some setup required, and there's some other factors that are required to make them work correctly to sanitize your pool or add chlorine to the pool, basically. And if any of these things are out of balance, the pool is not going to have any chlorine, even with a saltwater generator. And in no way would I discourage you from getting a saltwater generator. I have one on my pool. I've always had different saltwater generators on my pool. Just that the thinking is when you go to buy one, if you look at the literature, everything is pretty hunky-dory. They have everyone smiling and having a great time. But there's also other aspects of it that you have to be aware of and that if things stop working, your pool will have no chlorine and it'll just be like if you had a standard pool that you're chlorinating and there's no chlorine in the pool. In other words, it'll turn cloudy and green just like any other pool. And the price point of the saltwater generator can be off-putting to a lot of consumers. But I think if you go in there with the knowledge that yes, there's maintenance required, there are certain parameters that you have to be aware of for the system to work properly in. It is a great way to add chlorine to your pool without worrying about it. Like for me, I'm pretty busy. You know, the cobbler sun has no shoes kind of thing. So my pool is fairly neglected as far as me adding chlorine to the pool. I have two pH monitors that let me know when my pH gets out of range so that I can go add pH because I need that kind of reminder on my phone because I'm pretty busy again that my pool's not top priority to me. And so having the saltwater generator add the chlorine to my pool every day is a great way for me not to worry about it. I have to go back there and add chlorine. So a saltwater generator does have the benefits in that regard that you're not constantly having to add chlorine or monitor the chlorine level in your pool because once you set it and get it pretty much dialed in to the output you want, it's going to add that amount of chlorine every day. For instance, my pool, I keep at 5 parts per million in the summer. And I tested it last week. It was at six parts per million. So the generator is working a little bit too much, producing a little bit too much chlorine, but better than having the pool at zero or one part per million or having algae forming in it. By the way, my pool also has borates in it. I keep the borate level at 35 parts per million. And I also recently installed Jacuzzi Nature 2 mineral system at my pool to test it out. Um, it's a great mineral system. Nature 2 is a mineral system that's been around for a long time owned by Fluidra or Zodiac Pool Systems and if you look at the reviews they're really stellar basically the minerals are metals that are released into the pool at a very slow rate and this keeps the pool algae free and you can see that video also on my channel so I do a lot of product testing also in my backyard to make sure things work but just be aware that some of the advertisement for the product's effectiveness may be overblown or may just be marketing to get you to buy the product. In reality, will the product work? It just depends on you testing it out and trying it in your pool. And I think the reviews of the product online are extremely important in deciding if the product works or not. For instance, if you look up the um, Foss Free and Pool Perfect blend or even just the Foss Free on Amazon or any other site, you're going to see that it's almost all five-star reviews. And the reason why it has five-star reviews is the product actually works effectively and people like to leave that positive feedback. And I think if you're going to look at any pool product out there, um, I've tested many of them. A lot of them never made it to film. One reason I don't put negative things out there is because there's really no need to. The product's going to fall off the radar anyway, um, pretty much if it's not working. I've tested products for companies where I've had zero results and I kind of scratched my head on that. Um, but basically, if the product doesn't work, I don't use it, I don't promote it, I don't have a web page linked to it. But if a product works, I definitely will promote it as such. And don't trust me for that. Just trust the other reviewers out there and look at the reviews online of a product. And I'll give you a good example of kind of being skeptical out there. I had a vendor approach me about the pool refresh. This is a chemical. They've been making these spa um, aroma therapy things for a long time. So they have this pool refresh product. This is a product that's supposed to add a scent to the water and also soften the water. And I'm extremely skeptical of products. It sounds very gimmicky, but actually I've been using it all season in my pool whenever I have a party or a gathering, um, which is limited now. 
but this product actually works. I, you know, I have a nephew that has really bad eczema and he was using my pool. He's used my pool two or three times so far this season and he does notice that it is softer on his skin and you can actually smell the product. I use about six ounces in my pool. I use more than the product. I think the product calls for about four ounces in my pool. So I always use a little bit extra and you can actually smell this product in the pool. I don't think it lasts a week, but it does last for the whole party. And the next day I have also noticed that it's still, I can still smell it. And when the pool turns on, so the product actually works. I was surprised that it worked. And if you watch the video on it, I just have my son go back there and say that he smells it. I don't know how else to show that it works in a video, um, but it definitely works. I've been using it and I say um, for 20 bucks, you know, I don't know if that's a good price or not for it, depending on your pool size. But for me, I think the product has been proven to work in my own experience and the reviews of it are pretty good online. Uh, the pool refresh, uh, I can't remember the rest of the the subtitle on that product, but it does definitely add a scent, kind of like a lavender or a fresh scent to the pool. I don't know if it's a lavender scent, like a fresh flowery scent, and also the softness of the water if you have dry skin. So not everything is gonna work in your situation. As I started the podcast with the stain removing products, sometimes they work, sometimes they won't. It may not just, it may not be the product itself that's not effective. It may be that the stain is not something that it can be lifted off with, and you may need to drain an acid wash your pool. It could be that the product was used incorrectly, or other kind of user errors. But again, there are certain products that I've tested that I know work effectively. And if you look at all the different videos I have on YouTube, I think I'm approaching a thousand videos. I, I can't remember the exact number. You can see that usually I'll test the product in the water and show you the results of the product. If you have any questions about a certain product, definitely email me at david at swimmingpoollearning.com and I'll be happy to give you my feedback on the product through a direct email. I'm a very honest person. When you email me, I'll give you a straight answer on a product. If you want to know the pros and cons of a product, I'll definitely tell you those. Um, definitely, I think in the podcast, I do a lot of reviews here, and I'm a lot more transparent than the video because I think it gives me more time to unpack the pros and cons of a certain product, and I think the podcast is a great format for that. So definitely, you know, I wouldn't say take everything with a grain of salt out there, but definitely have that kind of skeptical um, attitude towards your product because the manufacturer is going to promote it, of course, as the next best thing than sliced bread. But I always like to look at things in a realistic perspective. And since I've tested so many products, I kind of um, look at things totally different now that I've used different products out there. Um, if you're looking for certain products, definitely go to my website, swimmingpolarring.com, and there's a list of different products that I've used. And recommend and definitely can find a lot of the products I mentioned in this podcast there on my website and if you're in the industry and you're wanting to enhance your business or you're just starting out definitely check out my coaching program for $10 a month you can text me and for $20 a month you can call me in real time and there are also a lot of great benefits for being part of the program you can learn more about that at poolguycoaching.com thanks for listening to this podcast have a great your week and god bless Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals' trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.